As a wedding photographer, you often want to take out objects in a photo that just don't quite fit or kind of ruin the photo. So as you can see here, we've got some people over here playing in the surf. Some people here watching the bride and groom and bridal party walk past. Uh, we've also got this thing up on the hill here, which, although you can't really notice, kind of is still a bit annoying. And in the background there, you can see there's um, what looks like boogie border or, or something. So what I'm going to show you now is how awesome the new... Um, spot healing brushes for Photoshop using the new content aware so what you want to do is just select the tool and then you literally just paint over the objects you want to remove and Photoshop looks what's in the surrounding area and matches it up so you don't have to spend ages trying to find a source file or where it looks weird you just literally select bits and if you don't like anything just go back and change it so as you can see no one would even know there's any people there now up on the hill we'll do the same thing just select that object my magic it's gone now these people over here are going to be a bit more difficult so what I'm going to do is just select all of them and see what this does at first if there's a nice background around it like the beach it usually does a pretty good job it takes a bit while to think about it as you can see for the first cut that's it's a pretty good option um, if I'll just select that bit there, it should hopefully put a bit of, put a bit of trees in there. And just this bit here with that shadow is, looks a little bit strange as well. So as you can tell, it's not really that bad at all. Um, obviously now you've seen me do it, so it's quite obvious what's happened. But for someone looking at this photo for the first time, they would be none the wiser that there was a bunch of people there. So now we're just going to zoom into this area of the photo and take out this person in the background. So we're going to make the brush nice and small. The smaller you can make the brush, the better. Let's see, we're taking the bride's arm off. And we'll get a little head out. So it gets a bit fiddly when you're getting to, to objects, but as you can tell, that's now photo looks pretty good. Um, the only thing I'm not really happy about is these little marks over here, where there's a bit of a shadowy marker, so you can see that's now gone. And I'm still not obviously happy with this area over here. Um, because I've obviously taken quite a big chunk of the photo that's been made out of nothing, um, there's a few things you can do to make it better. Um, is I'm just going to crop the image so that not so much of of that area is now in the um, in the photo. So I'll crop it about there, or wherever. So it's still in the middle. But I still want them walking down the beach, and it's these people over here that were the main issue um, for that. So as you can tell, I'm cropping it now. We've got an image that looks 10,000 times better than it did and no one's done the wiser that there was a family here and people playing in the surf. So that's just a quick tutorial, well, not even really a tutorial, more just showing you how awesome the content aware tool in Photoshop is. This little baby here. Cha-ching!